All right, so at 8.30, we have the uh, CPI report. Remember, um, like I said, is it we want to uh, be flat going into the, any red impact numbers. Uh, go to forexfactory.com, and um, it, it just shows you any red impact numbers against a USD um, can affect uh, the market. So, you know, what we need to do is the S&P, we need to be flat five minutes before that's coming up, and then uh, typically, you know, five minutes after, three to five minutes after, and then we can start looking for setups on FZR and also uh, Momo Trades. Let's take a look at the recap uh, yesterday and going into today. Uh, yesterday, here's the whole trading session. I want to recap this before the news so we know our plan for today going into the strategy. Uh, you could tell that we had nothing but buy signals all day. Um, you could see that our zone was green all day. It turned red once but got no sell signal. And then went right back to green because it broke through the high. And uh, we had several FZR trades. We had two momentum trades to the upside. Actually, three momentum trades to the upside. Uh, one, two, three. But we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine FZR trades yesterday. And what FZR trades, remember, I recapped it yesterday in the video uh, just to make sure our, our mind's right, we got things going on the right way, is this is what you want to see. You want to see us come down into the zone or at the zone. These zones are already uh, that come up automatically on all future stocks, currency, uh, crypto markets. Um, so any any type of uh, movement you get inside of the zone or at the zone, you'll look for this uh, arrow to fire on, um, on especially this new update we're getting, these arrows will fire automatically for you. Uh, this tells you that the price is possibly going to reverse to the upside because we have a green zone and it pulled back into the zone. We got the arrow, which is a green reversal, um, and it shows that's a full zone retracement. Then the market takes off uh, in the morning, um, right around 8.30, and we get that pullback. This is the Momo trade out. This is the second trade we look at in the room. We only look for two setups. We're going to look for that this morning after the CPI report. A Momo trade, you want to see actually away from the zone, and then you don't want to see the oscillator get below 20 with, for buys. So you can see the oscillator stayed above 20 when the arrow fired in the room live yesterday. Um, and then we got the continuation to the upside. So that's the difference between an FZR and Momo. An FZR is a full retracement pullback below 20, and then the Momo is a continuation where it does not pull back below 20, and you get that uh, move up. I do like to see these moving average coincide, uh, meaning the smaller moving average, the 20 above the 50 on the pullback. Uh, if I do see the oscillator above 20, and we have green Momo. As we work through the day, we had several FZR trades. Uh, there's another Momo trade after a trend change. It tried to trend change on us yesterday, but the algo picked it up right away, said no. Um, and that was during the hours where uh, non-trading anyway, from 11, the 11 to around uh, 12 o'clock. But then the algo picked it up, went right back to a trend change to the upside, and we started seeing the movement to the upside. We had the Momo right away. Big pullback to the FZR around 115, um, 117. I always tell traders, look for a real big movement from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern on FZR and Momo trades. And then there's a break from 11.30 to 1.15. And then 1.15, they like to start it right back up. And sure enough, um, I talked about that yesterday morning. At 1.17, we got an FZR that exploded the market to the upside. And then we had another FZR, another FZR to the close. So as we come into today, we have two FZR trades that, uh, uh, I'm sorry, one FZR trade and one Momo trade going into the news. So right now it's 826, four minutes before news. You can see the FZR had a full retracement pullback, low 20, arrow fired. But look at this. Look how the, it was a higher low. There's your higher low. And then you get the Momo that came in right afterwards. I love this setup. I mark these charts up and I put a square around them when I send them out to you. And the reason being I, I do that is this is a really nice combination. I like seeing an FZR, a full zone retracement price, get back inside the zone on all these markets, whether you trade crude oil, uh, you know, trade the NASDAQ futures, the S&P, whatever you trade, you trade the Euro, whatever you trade Forex, you like to come into the zone, get away from it, and then I like to see this, this uh, mo momentum uh, kick in right afterwards, and there's our momentum entry. All right, so we got news coming out here in about uh, three minutes. We're going to look for FZR and Momo trades. 
So just remember, look for full retracements inside the zones for FZR. There's your FZR this morning. And then look for the Momo setup. And then we're going to try to capture some of these um, right after uh, about three to five minutes is, is, is a, a great time to start looking for uh, setups you, uh, with news. We do have a CPI report coming out. And um, we should get some nice volatility.